Welcome to our video today. We're going to be talking about the binding posts on the back of Red Dragon audio amplifiers. We use Cardis patented binding posts. They provide a really secure connection and sonically are transparent. A lot of people have questions, what type of connector should I use? Since they look quite a bit different than your traditional binding post as seen here. However, you can use spade, bare wire, or even possibly banana plugs. The best being spades or bare wire. This video is to instruct you on what to do with stranded bare wire. Solid core bare wire isn't as big of an issue, and here's why. When we remove the tightening nut here, and the compression collar, you can see that the binding post is exposed here. If you have a solid core bare wire, simply wrap it around and create a loop, put the collar back on and clamp it down. It's not going anywhere. However, if you've got stranded wire, like this bare stranded copper wire here, you might end up with a stray piece that comes off. And if the light isn't very good, you might not notice it. If this happens to connect between the positive and negative posts, or touches the chassis, you'll end up shorting the output stage, destroying it. Now there is a protection circuit to prevent that, but if it fails, you're going to have a fried amp. So it's best to take a, the precautionary steps and prevent it from happening in the first place. Here we've got 14 gauge stranded bare copper wire. I've stripped off one and a quarter inch from the end. When you've done that, twist it tightly, making sure you don't have any stray pieces coming off. Place it around the binding post here and create a loop, wrapping it around. I've already done this in advance so you can see real easy what to do here. Once you've wrapped it around the binding post, get some nice lead-free solder and tin the whole thing, creating a nice solid connection. Place that back on the binding post. Ta-da! Easy. Put your collar back on and the tightening nut. Tighten that down and you've got a very solid connection and you don't have any stray wires that might be coming off and touching the chassis or the other post, shorting the output stage. If you do have any questions, send me an email. Info at reddragonaudio.com. Thanks.